doing today? I hope everybody's having a super califragilisticexpialidocious type of day today. Welcome to your favorite glowy and hoey channel where sometimes we're a little bit glowy and sometimes we're a little bit hoey. So, hey! <laughs> You're new to my channel. Hi, my name is Gabe, and this is Gabe Loves Makeup, and we are so glad to have you here. And when I say we, I mean you as in me as in you, because this is your channel with much of this is my channel. So, you know, come on in, pull yourself a little drink, a little something, a little snack, a little something, sit down, you know, have a little break, you know, chill out, because today, guys, we got some stuff to play with. Actually, I've got a lot of stuff to play with. We're going to do a lot of these get ready with me, because I got a lot of stuff to catch up on, and I thought these are probably the best way to do them, so... Anyway, we got a little bit of Pat McGrath here. We got a little bit of her, we got our blushes. We got a new Dior Forever setting spray. I never got to use before. Used on client, but never used on myself. Um, the, the Patrick Ta, we have the new Rose Palette, number two. We have the um, the One Size Beauty Made for Shade and um, the Medium Dark Trio. We also have, um, I'm also gonna be kind of showing you the older Patrick Ta palette in the Major Dimension one. One. We're going to be comparing a little bit together. Um, you know, I have the Estee Lauder, the Double Wear Sheer Flattery Loose Powder. Um, I also have a new lipstick from Elizabeth Arden. Um, I also have a new eyeliner from Lancome and Grandiose. I also have a new concealer from Sean Takai. <laughs> I mean, it's just about to have a new lip gloss for Shantakai. So, I mean, you know, so yeah, we got, um, we got some stuff to play with for sure. So, if you guys are interested in any of this stuff and you want to stick around and you want to see what I think of some of it, then stick around and let's find out together. So, guys, I've been gone for a little while. Yeah, we've been going for a little while. Then, you know, this is this is a little catch up. So, we got a lot of catching up to do. I got more to catch up on, but it, there's some more over on the bed. So, we got a lot more to do. So, I mean, you know, actually, my, my sheet turned to wash. So I've got all my stuff on my bed right now. It's like my room is like a mess. But thank God you guys can't see that. Um, so, anyway, so we are ready to dive into this, guys. I'm really, really super excited. I can't tell you how excited I am about this Patrick Top palette. I'm like, ah, I'm like really excited. Um... But, um, I think I'm going to wait. I've got a little bit. I'm testing out a new foundation. Um, that video will be, uh, probably after this one. Um, so anyway, so definitely check that one out. I've got brows on. I did a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury. I did a little bit of the brow cheat and I did a little bit of the Dior, um, the brow styler in brown. Uh, this one's in taupe. So I mix them together a little bit. My brows are my brows. So, I mean, we don't have any, so we just make it up. So if you're new to my channel, I don't have brows, so we just have to make them. So I hope they look okay. I did a little, um, the MAC, the MAC stack, the, um, the stack mascara. I did a little bit of that on already, just a little bit. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I'm ready to get all into it, especially this palette, guys. I can't even tell you. I will put up here on the screen beside me. I've already swatched these palettes. I did the major one beside the major two, and I did it all on one arm, and I did it outside so you guys could actually see what it looks like. So instead of doing it live, I did it that way so you guys could see the swatches. But can I just tell you, so this is the, this is the major one palette. Um, and you can see, um, this is what it looks like in the inside. It looks really, really beautiful. Um, and you know, I have not really touched this palette much. I've been like maybe two times at the most. I've really used this palette and this palette came out this time last year. So I've not really, really been into this palette. I never really have. I mean, it's a beautiful palette. Don't get me wrong. I didn't like some of the shimmers in it when I reviewed it. Um, I mean, you know, there's some things about this palette that I didn't like, but now let me tell you, let's get excited, okay, because let's talk about this number two palette, because we weren't going to get this palette, all right, we were already, like, set to not get this palette, I'd already said in a previous video, we ain't getting this palette, it ain't gonna happen, you know, I don't want it, so anyway, so I was on, you know, of course, um, I had a, a subscriber, and, you know, and she saw that I didn't, you know, was not going to purchase it. Um, I told her that I was not interested in it. And she Instagrammed me. She DM'd me and said, hey, you got to see this palette up close. Because I'm telling you, it does not look anything like it looks in a picture. So, I was like, well, I'm just still not going to get it. Because I'm just trying to save the money. So, I just don't want to do it. So, anyway, so she... 
actually sent me the palette. So I actually got the palette from a fabulous subscriber. So you know who you are. She did not want me to mention her name. Um, she just wanted me to just, you know, I just thank her from the bottom of my heart because it was really, really sweet. She sent me one. So I saw this in Sephora before it launched in Sephora and the store. Um, so they already had it online, but they didn't have it in the store. But I did see it in Sephora because, you know, I work for Dior. So I was in Sephora helping them promote this the spring sale. And I was in there and I went in the back and the, one of the girls showed me the palette. And I was like... Holy shit, this palette is, you guys, I can't, it's, I, I can't even describe it. I know you've seen a million reviews on it right now. I'm not going to review the palette. We're not going to go over it and go, this one is a matte and this one's a metallic and this is this and that and all that kind of stuff. We're not going to get into all that crap today. Today is going to be cut and dry. We're going to be like, we're putting it on and that's going to be pretty much <laughs> be i might show you a couple swatches of some of the stuff but i mean we're not going to get into the whole details we're going to have fun we're going to enjoy it we're going to have a good time that is what it's all about we're going to have some fun with makeup i don't want to talk about a lot of like other things i'll have prices down below description i have links please use my links by the way if you guys if you're new much please use my link because they're down below if there's anything you're interested in down below i mean definitely check it out um you know but i don't you know what i just want to have fun with it i don't really want to go into details details with it and really because we're not really reviewing anything I think a lot of this some of this stuff has already been reviewed to death I know Pat McGrath a lot of the Bridgerton I do have the eyeshadow palette we're going to do it again another day I just wanted to use the blushes today um we do have one of the lipsticks too um again this was one of those things I wasn't going to get but it just kind of popped up so we did get it so it is here um but I can you know I just want to play with makeup I don't really care I've been gone for a while so I just want to enjoy makeup and just play with it and there you go that's all one major one so this is what it looks like and this is the major two so sorry fingerprints all over it but it's more of a rose gold it's thick around the edges i'm sure you guys have seen reviews on it already it's absolutely just i can't even tell you how pretty it is in person but it's such a beautiful palette it's absolutely gorgeous creams over here just absolutely stunning can't wait to get into it um so with that said box to the side we are ready to rock so, i mean if i offend anybody today i'm so sorry because i'm a little bit I don't say in a foul mouth mood. <laughs> I am sorry if I offend anybody. I really do apologize because I don't mean to. I'm going to take my Scott Barnes brush and this is in 61 and we're going to, let's just dip into one. Let's dip into one of these. Um, I think I want to do, because we're going to do a dramatic look. So we're just, I'm telling you guys now, if you don't want to see a dramatic look, then just, it's okay. You can click off, you can go on your merry way, go on, do what you want to do, but we're going to, we're going to, we're going to like play in some drama today. Okay. So I'm going to take a little bit of this in here with my, 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 um, Scott Barnes brush. I love this brush, by the way. It's so pretty. And we're just going to go in here and I'm going to pack it on a little bit. And this is like a cream. Um, and so we're just going to kind of make it look, cause I'm going to do it like a base. So we're really going to make it look darker. Um, cause I really want this to pop. I really want it to pop because I got some lashes to go with it. And I mean, yeah, we're going to, wow, that is pretty. That's pretty just like that. Just a one and done type thing. That is really, that's beautiful. That's so pretty. Oh, I like that so much. Wow, that's beautiful. Thankful for all of you for being so supportive on me being incognito. I'm really sorry. Um, I have a lot of videos to film. I mean, I've got more coming up. I have a, you know, I've got the uh, foundation that I'm using today. Um, there's April Favorites. Then I have Dior. Um, I've got a uh, two Dior. I'm going to do a whole, um, I'm going to give you guys a whole, my whole day and night skincare routine. And I'm going to talk about every product that I use on my skincare. So you guys are interested in that. There's going to be a part one of that. And then there's going to be a Dior part two. We're going to be doing all Dior color. So we're going to be doing all Dior. Everything in Dior from mascara to brows to everything. Everything's going to be Dior. Lip lip liner, lip gloss, everything's going to be Dior. So I thought we would do a fun video like that. Because I've got so much Dior now. And I'm really excited to use it. And I mean, you know, and I'm kind of being like your Dior destination station. Okay. Because I'm all about about I'm all about some Dior. Um, I'm really enjoying working for the company. They're really great. And then, you know, then, um, of course, you know, I also work for Longcomb too. I've been working for them a lot. So we've been doing a lot with gifts and stuff like that. And um, they're getting ready to come out with a brand new, they come in with a new mascara. And then they're also coming out with a new foundation in June. 
uh, early July. Can't really talk a lot about it just right yet, but it is going to be a great foundation. You guys are going to be very excited about it. Um, Dior's got a lot of great stuff coming up too. They're changing a lot of their skincare. Um, a lot of things are popping up with their colors too. As you guys have already seen some of the fall. You know, Charlotte Tilbury's got a brand new concealer coming out, guys, because you know, we all excited about that. We're excited about Huda Beauty coming out with the new concealer. I'm going to be all about that. We got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> So anyway, so now that we've got the base layered down, let me go over. I'm just going to use the same brush, I believe, and I'm going to go, and let's go into this shade here, right here, and we're just going to take it, and we're going to just, we're going to pack this right over top of that, and just really just kind of working it. These shades just blend. They are just like butter, just the way that they look. They look so beautiful. And we're just going to go in here and we're just really just going to build this up. And then in a minute, we're going to build up the crease in just a second. When we picked up some of the um, Jacqueline collection from her Lux, what is the Lux family that she did with her mother? Oh, God. <laughs> See what I do to myself. I get stuff all over me. But I did pick up some of that due to a... Um, girl named glam girl chelsea mm -hmm. she like a, she made me she made me buy it that's what happened she made me buy it I'm take a little bit of my morphe brush and m222 and we're just gonna take this and kind of blend it in here we start blending this out a little bit but she was like all about it she was going oh my god i bought this and i bought that and she bought some of this stuff and she could do you know it's like and so i wasn't going to get anything from this collection because it's like you know i normally if you guys have watched my channel you know I, I, I normally love a lot of jacqueline stuff um and i normally support her i was just trying to save some money i wasn't going to do anything but then i saw it and you know i didn't get the palette but i did get a lot of some of the other stuff so we are going to be doing some of that um so that's coming too so yeah we'll have to do a little get ready with me it's gonna be so much fun we're gonna have a lot of fun so anyway so this is what we're looking like so far so now let's take a um i'm gonna go in let's take a little bit of my angie hot and flashy the 503 brush a if you guys don't have these brushes they're just they're phenomenal i'm gonna go in um let's go in this shade here right here right there Let's take a little bit of it. Actually, yeah, a little bit of it because since we've already got a little bit of darkness going on. And we're going to go in here and just kind of like really start blending this together. Kind of like co making it more cohesive. Look, it's just effortless. They're melting in like butter. I can I tell you guys a big difference between in this palette versus the other palette. Um, the other palette, um, you know, it's like it was, it was nice and I felt like some of it. But these just are something about the textures and everything are so different. Um, I just really think they're, it's just a much, it's a much better palette altogether. Um, so that's just my two cents so far, what I've experienced with it so far. But wow, that is just, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Yeah. This shade here, right here, and we're going to do the same brush. And I'm just going to go just a little bit higher with it and just add a little bit more up in here. And I'm going to take it out just a little bit here like so, and just kind of take that out just a tad, just to give it a little bit of edge to it. Uh, BK Beauty 207 brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of it, and let's go into this lighter shade here, and I'm gonna take just a little bit of it. The mattes are just so dreamy. I'm gonna take it and just, we're gonna blend this in together a little bit. I'm gonna make this just a little softer, just soften that down a tad just to make it look a little bit more softer in there before we do the shimmer. But wow, that's that's really beautiful. I'm gonna take this shade here. We're gonna go into this shade. I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna take it with my finger. My finger, and we're gonna press this right here. Ooh, that's beautiful. Ooh, that is so pretty. Well, I don't know if you guys can see, that is really beautiful. Oh. So pretty. I love this really this this gold rose look. It's just so beautiful. Um, let me see. I think I'm gonna do this pinky shade, which is right here. We're gonna do it right over here, closer to the inner quarter, just a little bit right there. Take a little bit right here. Like that. Ooh, that's beautiful. So pretty. And we haven't done concealer yet, guys. So, if I, I mean, I've had a little bit, a little bit of fallout, not a lot, but a little bit. 
it was mainly with um I think it was I think it was one I think it was this shade or one of the shade one of the matte shades a little bit just a tad but um, not enough to really be worried about it or anything but yeah that is really beautiful so pretty again and let's go back into this I'm gonna go into this richer shade one more time this one here we're gonna tap into that matte rich shade and I'm just gonna open up my eye a little bit and I wanna go in here and just deepen this up a little bit. My crease just a little bit more. So that way it just gives a little bit more, that just gives it like a little more up to it, makes it look a little bit more sexy. Okay, so let me take just a little bit more of this um, one shade here. Let me take just a little bit more of the gold right there, and I'm just gonna take a little bit more of it over that pink, just to give it a little bit more. I told you guys I was gonna use all the shimmers. <laughs> what I'm doing, I'm using all the shimmers. They're so pretty. Oh my God, they're, and they're not they're not a crusty glitter either. I felt like the other ones were a little bit more, there were like two or three of them in the old one that was a little bit more hard pan. Um, you know, so I just felt like they were a little bit harder to work with, but this is really smooth. Um, I think he kind of learned it from the last one. I felt like he kind of went in and, and changed and made, uh, changed some of the mistakes that he made with the, fir the first palette. He definitely kind of went in and, and changed and made some adjustments in this palette. So definitely looking really good. That is really beautiful. A little bit. I'm gonna take my uh, Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Mesmerizing Maroon, and I'm gonna do a little bit of the, I'm gonna do the shade Macaroon on the side, the metallic side, and we're gonna do a little bit in the waterline. And really, and you guys, if you don't have these duo pencils, the one side is matte and one side is the metallic, these suckers will not come off. They are so good. If you guys are looking for a really good waterline or something to put in your waterline, they are so awesome by Charlotte Tilbury. They're so good. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit there and then we're gonna go, when I go back and clean it up, we'll add some shadow and stuff up underneath. But I just wanted to go in and, and go ahead and connect it before I do concealer. Ooh, that's beautiful. Looking good, looking good. So far, so good. Okay, so let's do, let me go ahead and do, let's try out this new Lancome liquid. I'm not gonna do a wing though, I don't think. The Lancome Edol um, liner. Um, it is a ultra precise, waterproof, long wear liner. It's very skinny, so it's very skinny. It looks just like this. Um, and the brush just looks just like that. And it's very, 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 very black, very black. And the brush is very, it's kind of a longer tip. Um, so if you guys don't like a longer tip, if you like something a little bit more um, smaller or, you know, it just depends. I know everybody's got a preference when it comes to liquid liner and, you know, how the applicator, but, um, but it's really good though. It's a really good um, liquid liner, I have to say. So let me get my mirror and let's just go in and see what happens. Okay guys, so this is what we're looking like so far. So let me go off camera and put some lashes on and then we will come back and we will finish up the bottom. Now I have my lashes on. So now we're gonna take a little bit of this Shantakai. I'm gonna use this corrector pen. And also I'm going to be using, I'm where did I put it? I'm gonna take a little bit of this Maybelline eraser and this is in 160, it's like a pink. Um, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the pink and we're gonna use a little bit of it too. So I'm gonna take a little bit of it and we're gonna tap it up underneath a little bit to brighten a little bit right here, just to brighten that up a little bit, just to kind of give a little brightness. And then we're gonna use the Shantakai over top of it. So we're gonna use them together. And the Shantakai I have been using and I've used it on clients. Um, I did an event last week and I finally picked up a pen from Swan Beauty and it is just so beautiful. It's really pretty. So we're just gonna use it just to brighten up a little bit. We're going dramatic today, guys. So I told you we were gonna we're gonna bang it out. So we're gonna really get in here. Brighten that up a lot. And we just took it up in there and really just made it really pop. And I'm gonna bring it down just a little bit, but wow, that's so pretty. Shade 4C in the Shantakai. And the Shantakai looks really beautiful on its own. I just wanted a little bit more of a bright effect up underneath my eye area. So 
um, because I may not do um, I may not do a lighter powder up underneath my eyes. That's the reason why I'm doing the Maybelline. The Maybelline is is good. The A A31 concealer is a cult classic. Um, but I really do like it because, you know, if you guys have not been, um, watching a lot of the trends right now, a lot of the trends, a lot of the TikTok trends, you know, a lot of using a little bit of the pink concealer and you're mixing the pink or the pink, you know, a little pink blush with your, um, a little bit with your concealer to brighten it up or whatever. So this concealer has a little bit more pink to it. So that's why I thought we would try it a little bit. Um, it's a little, I mean, I think the Adri one is a little drying looking because it does have a little bit of a matte finish, but it is a beautiful concealer. It is a really, really pretty concealer. We're going to go up underneath and we're going to just kind of do a little bit more on the bottom of this line here. So I'm going to go back and add a little bit of that. We're going to mix a little bit of this shade and this shade together. We're going to mix them together a little bit. And we're just going to go up under here and just kind of like take that and kind of like just add that to the bottom. Kind of blend that together, whip that up through there, and then I'm just going to go back with the BK Beauty 207 brush, and we're just going to go up under it, and we're just going to smooth that out a little bit. Look at this really light shade here, and I'm going to take it, and we're going to put it in the inner corner. So let's take it and put it right there, and make and really bring it out a little bit. Now be careful with a little bit of these metallics. They do have a tendency to um, want to flake a little bit. So you should be careful with that. But I don't really see the point in having a glue. I mean, you could do a glue, but I mean, but they, I just can clean it. It cleans up very easy. So it's not that difficult. Well, we are done with the eyes. So what do we think? It looks really beautiful. I love the way the skin's looking too. It looks really, really pretty. Um, so we're going to go, we're going to do a little bit of this Estee Lauder. This is the Translucent Soft Glow. If you guys are new to my channel, I did a sample. I had a sample of this that I tried and I really, really loved it. I finally used it. I love it. It was so good and I really loved it. So we've got a full size now. So I'm going to take it off the lid. So this is what the lid looks like. Um, it's a very beautiful, um, it, it kind of mats the skin a little bit, but it's got a little bit of a glow to it. It's very, very sheer. It has a little puff in the inside of it, and then it has a little thing. We're just going to lift the lid here. I'm just going to take that off. I'm going to take a little bit of my damp beauty blender, and we're just going to go in here and just kind of go in and kind of light, lightly kind of just tap a little bit over and kind of set everything before we do um, powder bronzer. Let me go in here and kind of set everything out. The most beautiful glow to the skin is so, so pretty. I really, I really love it. It's gorgeous. It really makes your makeup last. It makes it stand really well. Um, but it's not, but it's, again, it's not, they have these in a matte as well. So if you're more oily and you need more of a matte powder, they have it. Um, but I, um, this one is just so good for dry skin. So if you have a little bit more of a drier skin, but you want a little bit of a powder, then this one is really good. It does make your makeup stay on really well, makes it stay on all day. A one size bronzer duo. So I have this in a medium dark trio. What brush do we want to use? I'm just gonna use a little bit of my BK Beauty 106 brush. We're gonna start at the top and then work our way down. So let's start with just warming up the face. Um, I saw um, I saw a makeup by Spencer use this product. And um, I just was, again, it was something I was not going to get, but I just really loved the way that he looked with it. And it looks so pretty on him that um, I just decided to pick it up. So it's really, it looks like a really beautiful bronzer and sculpting powder. So just take it and warm up the skin a little bit. So we're warming up a little bit more here. Ooh, this is really beautiful. And this is the medium deep again, by the way. So the medium looked like it was going to be a little bit too light because, you know, now we've got more color now. Um, so I thought that might be a little bit too light, but I'm going to go in here and kind of go underneath the tone in here, a little bit more there. Kind of blend it down there. My Laura Mercier. Um, this is my Laura Mercier sculpting. It's like a sculpting brush, blush brush. And we're going to go into the contour a little bit and we're kind of going to just take it right up in here. I'm going to blend it into the others and a little bit more here. Okay, Blush and the eyeshadow palette, believe it or not. 
I was more excited about that than anything. But wow, look at that. It looks so pretty, doesn't it? Ooh, that looks good. Ooh, I like this. This is really good. Okay, one size beauty. All right, I'm giving us some cheekbones. Hey. So this is what the this is what the Bridgerton inside looks like. Isn't it beautiful? It's so pretty. So the container is like it's of course it's plastic. I'm sure you guys have seen the reviews on this, but it's really really pretty. Um, it's but it's plastic. A bit um, but these are the blushes to what it looks like. So this is what the blushes look like. So just like that, aren't they beautiful? Swatch on the back of my hand. Look at that. That's how pretty those are. And then the highlight. She's a little bit more, a little bit more thicker, but that is beautiful. Look how pretty, they're almost like baked, by the way. Oh, and by the way, before, um, I'm, I'm so sorry, I forgot to swatch these for you guys. Let me swatch these two, here and here and here, just so you can see, in case you're interested in this particular palette, that is what it looks like together. So this is the medium deep that we just put on, and this is what the Pat McGrath blushes look like. Isn't that pretty? My BK Beauty brush. I'm gonna take a little bit of it, and this is my 104 brush. We're gonna take a little bit of it, and I think I'm gonna tap a little bit of it. Let's tap a little bit of the pink, and it's very pigmented, because I know that they're very pigmented. I'm gonna tap off a little bit of the excess, and I'm gonna pat just a little bit right up here. Right up underneath the eye a little bit, just a tad. Right, just like that. Ooh, that is so pretty. And my nose a little bit here. Ooh, I love that. That's beautiful. And we use this again, guys, and I'll use like one of the other colors because I don't want to mix a bunch of them together today. I just want to use like one. And then we're going to use the highlight, of course, but that is really beautiful. That's really pretty. The BK Beauty and 108, we're going to take a smaller one. We're going to take a little bit of this. We're going to tap it just a little bit off. We're going to go in here and add a little highlight right here. Right up in there, a little bit above the eyebrow, here and here, down my nose, and by my lip. Oh, I like it. It's really pretty. It's not, I mean, to me, it's compared to most of Pat McGrath's highlighters. This one is not, I don't think this one's as intense. I mean, maybe you can build it up a little bit. I mean, yeah, it, there we go. We're building it up a little bit. It does build a little bit more. You just gotta build it a little bit. But I do like that, that is really nice. And now we gotta do some lips, okay? We gotta do some lips. Oh, oh wait a minute, well, you know what, before we do lips, let me spray. So, I mean, if you guys have never tried this, this is the Dior Perfect Fix Spray. I use this on clients all the time, and I finally picked me up a bottle. I've never had a bottle of it, but I spray it at work all the time on myself. <laughs> but I love it, but this is what it looks like. It looks just like this. It's really good stuff. It really, it smells amazing. It smells so good. The only thing is that sometimes the sprayer is a little wonky, so you have to be careful with it, but you do it in increments. You don't, you don't spray it like that. You have to just do it very softly. So we're gonna get it, let me get it started just so you guys can see. Just a little bit of the mess here. So is it there? See, you do it in little short strokes. But it makes your skin look so pretty. It is a great setting spray. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I just love the way it looks. Oh, we are looking good. I'm so excited. I can't hide it. Okay, so <clears throat> So we are going to be doing the Elizabeth Arden. This is the new lip color. It's called, um, it's Lip Color Advanced Ceramic Complex with Vitamin E and Maruka Oil. Mar Maruka, I think that's how I'm saying it right correctly. Um, I have this in the shade Breathless. Um, I picked this up in my local deal dealers, but it says it's a creamy high pigment color that meets conditioning care and an advanced ceramide complex, vitamin E, and oil. Um, so it is a new formula that Elizabeth Arden has come out with. It has the little red door on the top, and the packaging is very sleek. It's very modern. It feels very, still has a little bit of weight to it, but I really, this is really a beautiful, it's a beautiful packaging, but this is the color Breathless. Isn't that pretty? 
It also has a little red door right there on the lipstick, if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's got a little red door right there. But um, they're very, very creamy. And this is what the color looks like. So this is the color we're gonna go with. So I thought it would be really pretty with this collection because I kind of feared it was kind of all like a berryish kind of pink. I just thought this would be a really pretty color to go with. Um, so yeah, I've got makeup all over me. I'm a hot mess. I'm a hot mess. Which, is there any, if you guys are surprised, are you surprised at all? I mean, that I'm a hot mess. So anyway, so let's go into, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use the Christian Audette. This is the Paradise Liner. Um, and we're going to do a little bit of lip line with it. And then we're going to fill it in with the lipstick. Okay, so let's put the lipstick on. I'm so excited. It looks so pretty. think oh god look how pretty mm. i like this lipstick it's really pretty it almost kind of turned a little bit like like a little bit more of a almost a, um do a little bit more about shanta kyle gloss this is the new gloss it's called the shade glee it's really really pretty it's really beautiful by itself it's kind of like a really it's what it looks like like that by itself this has actually got a little bit more of a um a little bit more of a reddish undertone to it than I thought, but I actually really like it. It's really pretty. The lipstick feel really creamy. They're very creamy. They feel really nice. They feel very um soft, like um really liking that. Okay, guys. So we are here at the end. So I hope you guys like this. I hope you like the look. It looks really, really super beautiful. Kind of like what I could. This is kind of a roundup of kind of like what I thought about the products. So um so first of all, the brows already had. So already knew about that. Um, the foundation in another video, so you catch that in another video. And then the, let's talk a little bit about the palette. The palette is really beautiful. The shade blend really, really nicely. I love the cream on the end. The cream was beautiful. It was just beautiful by itself. Everything just blended very seamless. Um, the shimmers were a lot better. Um, just be careful with a little bit of fallout with it. I mean, all in all, the mattes are beautiful. They're, I mean, it looks, to me personally, I like this one a lot better than I did the other palette. Um, so this one I will be using a little bit more than I would the other one because um, I just think it just looks better. I just think it feels better. Um, I just feel like the um, metallics are better. I feel like the mattes or the mattes were good in the other one too, um, but the, I feel like the mattes are really super creamy. I just feel like you did a better job with this one. The packaging prettier. I just think everything about it is great. Um, so that is a definite win. Um, so. Um, the concealer, the um, the Shantakai concealer, love it. It's fantastic. Um, I with this one, I mean, it is a little bit. It did brighten it up a little bit. This concealer, um, I've used it before, so it's not like I haven't. I've just never tried it in the pink one. That's all. I've tried it in a normal formula. Um, but mixing it together did a pretty good job. It was really, especially after I sprayed, it was a little dry because this is a little drying looking underneath my eyes, particularly. And it's supposed to be an age defying type of concealer, but for some reason, it doesn't look that great on me. But this one doesn't. This this one's very hydrating. It's very dewy. It's very radiant. I definitely recommend this. Um, it's just a little pricey. I think she's around $46. So if you don't mind spending 46 bucks on a pen, um, but it is a really beautiful pen, especially if you have dry eyes. It's a really beautiful. It's a very lightweight coverage. It's not super heavy either, so I really like using this alone. Um, it's not bad though mixed with this one. It was pretty good, but I mean, but I did like the paint color. I mean, I did like that for sure. Um, and, you know, I love this. This is really gorgeous. This this whole thing is just really beautiful. I can't wait to try the blushes, um, but they're just so pretty. I mean, all of these colors are very rich. It turned out really beautiful. The bronzer is really super smooth. It goes on really nicely. Um, the sculpted, the contour, all of it, just it's just an amazing. It's just really super beautiful. Um, I'm really going to like this a lot. Probably really been using this quite a bit. Um, of course, the Dior spray is just, it's just gorgeous. If you've never tried it, you should check it out. I mean, go to the counter and spray it on yourself. <laughs> or, I mean, you should check it out if you're needing a new 
setting spray. These are really, really great. It's great because they sell these at Sephora. They sell them at you know, anywhere they sell Dior Beauty. Um, it's just really, it's a really great spray. You'll be seeing me to use this again in the Dior video as well because it's just a super awesome spray. I'll be using a lot more now that I have one. Um, the Max Stack Mascara, I love it. It's just great. It's so awesome. It probably, it's definitely going to probably be in a favorites video. And the Estee Lauder Powder, love it too. It's really amazing. If you look how smooth everything looks, it looks so smooth. It looks so dreamy. Just a beautiful, beautiful powder. It's just really super, super pretty. It's super seamless. It's not like the Givenchy or like the Huda. Um, it's got a little bit more of a glow to it. So it reminds me a little bit of the Absolute, but it's not as heavy and it's not as shimmery um it's a little bit more softer in that area but it's just a really beautiful powder so definitely recommend this um love the elizabeth arden lipstick it is really beautiful the formula is really pretty it feels very very creamy if you have very dry lips you'll really like it um just be careful it does seem to be a little bit more um it's very soft so it can kind of move around a little bit to so make sure you use a really good lip liner to keep it in place so it won't run around everywhere the chantecai lip gloss can't talk enough about it it just feels really really super good on the lips. It makes your lips look real good. It's what I was using when I first come on the video. Um, it's just a really good lip gloss. It's super, super nice. I definitely recommend their lip glosses. They're just a little bit more on the pricier side so for lip gloss, but I mean, but they are really good. Um, the Elizabeth Arden lipsticks, I think they were around 28 or something like that. Um, but they are really good and they have really beautiful colors. Um, I, I did swatches of these um, not too long ago in store. I swatched all of the colors. Um, but they're just really super beautiful. Um, really nice. The Grandiose, or I'm sorry, Grandiose, listen, I mean, the Doll um, Aligner by Lancome. I like it. It's really good. It's very wet. It's very black. Um, and it does stay in place all day. It won't come off. Um, I just be careful with it. I mean, it's a little tricky because the brush is a little bigger. Um, you know, and it's a little bit different than the art liners or the grandiose because the grandiose I liked it because the brush was really small. This one's a lot bigger. Um, so just be careful with it because it can, you know, go everywhere and once it dries, it'll stay. So just be careful with it. But it is a good liquid liner and it does stay on really well and it is really nice. And I do work for the company. Um, you know, but I'm giving you my honest opinion about it. Um, I really liked using it on some, on clients. Um, it's a lot easier on me. It was a little, I was not too bad. I mean, when I first put it on, this I had a more of a rough time with than this one. Um, but it did a good job. So, I mean, you know, and after I got it situated and everything, it's, it was really, it's really good. So far, so good. I like it. Um, and then, you know, let's talk about this. This you guys, this blush leaves a beautiful glow. It's got like a beautiful, they're baked, so they have like a little bit of a glow. They're so soft. They're very pigmented. You don't need a lot. The highlight is okay. It's not bad. I mean, it, for Pat McGrath, it's not her typical quality. I mean, it's pretty, but it's a little bit more, it feels a little bit more chunkier. It's not as smooth as her other um, highlighters because I've got other ones that I've really enjoyed by her a lot more. But I mean, but it's nice. I mean, it's nice to be in here with the blushes. I'm hoping that she put these in a, in a new form formula and maybe in a different, like an individuals or something. Um, they're just, because they're just super, super beautiful. They're just too beautiful to not be used again in another collection or maybe in another palette together. I do like it a lot. I'm going to really be enjoying these blushes because, you know, I love, um, I love my other blushes that I have by her. But these I'm going to like a little bit more because they're a little bit more glowy and I love it. I love the way my skin looks. It looks so pretty. Everything just blended. The bronzer, everything just blended so good together. It doesn't look too bad with the hair, the hair color. So I'm kind of liking it. I'm kind of digging it. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, make sure that you leave a thumbs up if you did you know i would really really appreciate it and you know if you're stuck around this long and if you want to you're definitely more welcome to subscribe to my channel i would love to have you as part of our little family here because we count ourselves with the family and you know like i said you know this is your channel as much as it is my channel so i mean i do a lot of this stuff for you guys and you know because this is out of fun for me so i really do appreciate it so anyway you know remember be safe be strong be proud stand tall love yourself and remember to love someone today remember to reach out to someone and tell them 
them that you love them because life is way too short. And then also remember to, um, you know, tell somebody to show a little kindness. You know, just a little kindness every day makes a big difference in somebody's life. It can make a big difference in somebody. Just a smile, you know, hello, how are you? Good morning. Anything like that can make somebody's day. And, you know, with that said, guys, thank you so much. I missed you guys so much. I'm so glad to be back. I um, hope that I will be able to do at least one or two videos um, a week. Now I'll be, be able to keep a little bit more consistent. Hopefully, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Um, you know, but anyway, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your day and peace out. And we will see you again in the next episode. Bye.